guys welcome to Nita Crochet my name is Anita today I'm going to be showing you guys how to work this shell skirt I've worked this I think like two years back must be like two three years back uh, a year because I worked the skirt right before the pandemic before like we closed down that was in like um, the end of 2019 and I had to, I, I got the chance to shoot it with this very beautiful model uh, in 2020, just within the lockdown. In Uganda, it was like total lockdown by then. So, um, and I got very many demands of, uh, please make us a tutorial. And by then I didn't have like um, the instruments or more like um, tripod studio light everything that required me to 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 start my tutorials i was still just trying to find my items and start you know working on um tutorials so um after i dropped the fashion over inspired fringe skirt i thought maybe i can also just use the chance to like uh, share this tutorial with you guys and i think you guys are really going to love it most of you see this skirt as very hard to work with but the stitch pattern is very easy to manipulate if only you follow the mathematics that goes with it okay so i am just going to take you through on how to make this very beautiful shell skirt and i hope you all fall in love with your creations okay make it a point to join my uh, facebook group it's neta crochets community you can always share works you have made inspired by my work also, you can go and find me on Instagram, Nita Crochets, okay? That would be super, super great. Subscribe, like, and share my channel so that we get the numbers we deserve, okay? So, first of all, for the materials I'm going to be working with, I am working with Robin 100% acrylic. It is 50 grams. I love my beach cover-ups lightweight, so this is 50 grams, and I'm going to be doubling my strands. It's the very same as this. I'm just trying to get two colors so the work like the shells vary in color. So I'm going to be working with um, a 4.5 millimeter hook. You'll need a tape measure, a pair of scissors, darning needle to weave in your ends. And now let's get started. Super excited. So um, we are going to be working in sets of 18. Okay, so we are going to make a knot in sets of 18 so what i mean by 18 that means that um for every shell let me just show you guys just a piece i worked for every shell like this okay from here up to here is 18 stitches okay so we are going to work in sh uh, in uh, sets of 18 so to get the length that you desire for your waist you need to multiply 18 by any number maybe like 18 by 4 I don't know what you will get. I am going to be working 18 times 6. Um, that gives me 108, I believe so. I, I think my mathematics is right. So I'm going to be working 108 stitches for my waist. And that is enough to fit the person I am working this for. Okay. But um, if you feel like you need to go larger, you will just have to multiply 18 by any number. So you go wider. So that's for example 18 times 9 or 18 times 10 that will give you 180 stitches and you have to get your tape measure and measure and see whether those stitches are wide enough to go through your hips because we are not working an increase around the hips so you need to make sure the length you have here can go through your hips and have a drawstring tied to your waist so it can fit perfectly so I'm going to work my 108 stitches because I have 18 times 6 and I'm going to be having 6 shells for every row, okay? So let's do that. Make sure you didn't work your uh, stitches too tightly because it has to stretch out to meet your hips. So, And also don't be so loose, okay? So um, here I have my 108 and I'm going to get my very first stitch right there and i will work a slip stitch into my very first chain stitch okay so here i'll chain one and then work a single crochet into this very same stitch and i'm going to be working 
one single crochet into every stitch until I get to the end of my row so I'm going to meet you at the end of your row once you have all your single crochets complete so uh, right here I will work a slip stitch into the very first stitch so this is what I have and for me it can fit the person I am working this for so you'll measure yours and see whether it can really do fit the person you're working this for from here we are going to chain three this is to work our very first shell so this is our first stitch and this should be the next stitch mm. so we skip one and into this right there we work a slip stitch you see that and we shall work a slip stitch into the next stitch and work a slip stitch in the next as well okay then we shall turn our work yarn over we are going to go into this gap okay and there we shall work 10 double crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now here we shall skip this and into the next stitch we work a slip stitch work a slip stitch into the next stitch and work a slip stitch in the next as well then turn your work yarn over into the very first double crochet which is this one here we are now working our second row of the shell we work a double crochet chain one work one double crochet into the next stitch chain one work a double crochet in the next and you are going to do this for all the 10 double crochets so you must have 10 double crochets at the end of the row and that's where I'm going to meet you and then show you what to do so as you can see once you have all 10 double crochets make sure you count them and make sure they are 10 as you can see this is where we worked a stitch so we shall skip the next stitch and work into this and there we shall work a slip stitch work a slip stitch in the next and work a slip stitch again in the next yarn over uh, sorry turn your work yarn over now into this very first stitch right there we shall work a double crochet and then work two double crochets into the chain one space just like that work one double crochet on top of the previous double crochet work two double crochets into the chain gap you see that work one double crochet into the double crochet post and this you are going to do for all the gaps and double crochets until you come to the end of your row and that's where i'm going to meet you and show you what to do next so this is what i have and i counted through i have about 28 stitches on this row so i'm going to skip this and into this stitch i will work a slip stitch that's to close up okay now to work the final row of this shell we are going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch and do the same for the next then turn your work yarn over into the very first stitch which is this i will work a double crochet and then chain two skip one and in the next stitch i will work a double crochet chain two skip one work a double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip one one double crochet in the next and this you are going to do all the way around until you get down below okay 
so I will get you there and then show you what to do so as you can see it's going to leave me with one um, let me see with uh, 13 chain gaps okay what I mean by chain gaps is this gap okay so you count these gaps and make sure they are 13 of them all the way up to down here now once you are done you are going to um, <coughs> check where you had your last stitch worked skip the next stitch and into the next we work a slip stitch so we have our 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 final row of the first shell and we have like i don't know how many shells to go so um for the next shell we are going to work nine slip stitches okay so one two three four five six seven eight and nine so please be very very attentive and now once at the ninth stitch we are going to chain three um, into this next stitch right there okay in there you will work a slip stitch so this is for us to start our shell okay now into the next stitch you work a slip stitch and into the next you work a slip stitch turn your work yarn over skip these two stitches and into the chain three space you work 10 double crochets and this was the first row of our first shell those are four so you're going to work all 10 and I'm going to meet you once you have all 10 double crochets so I can show you how to work the next row so once you have the 10 double crochets uh, you can see this is the stitch in which we worked our three chains to cross over so that means we skip this and work into this so in there we work a slip stitch and then work two slip stitches into the next two stitches turn your work okay work one double crochet into the very first stitch of the shell chain one work a double crochet in the next chain one work a double crochet into the next so if you remember very well this is the second row right here that we worked for our shell so i'm going to let you guys work this until you have all 10 double crochets and then i'll get back and show you how to work the next row yeah so i have my 10 double crochets okay and i am going to skip this and then work into this so in there we work a slip stitch and then work a slip stitch into the next two stitches two slip stitches in the next two stitches then turn your work yarn over into this very first double crochet right here you work a double crochet and then into the chain one gap you work two double crochets okay and then work one double crochet in the next double crochet stitch into the chain one space you work two double crochets so this is our row right here that's where we are and i'm going to let you guys work this until you come to the end of your row that's where i'm going to meet you guys and then show you what to do so uh, i already told you the number of stitches you should have on each row so just make sure you count them and make sure it's that number so here this is where i last had my stitch so i'm going to skip this and into this the next one here i will work my slip stitch just like that so you can see uh, for my first shell this is where it ended and i have one two stitches to go and there i will work two slip stitches into the next two stitches guys don't you see it's already forming i told you if you don't mess up with the mathematics of this project you will have everything right 
So this is where we ended uh, with our first shell and this is where we are ending for our second shell. So here you will turn your work and into this very first stitch right there you will work a double crochet and then chain two, skip one, skip one, work a double crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip one, work a double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, skip one, work a double crochet into the next stitch. And you are going to do this until you have 13 chain gaps, okay? I don't mean double crochets, but chain gaps. That means one, two, three, four, until they are 13. And once you have that, you are going to, I'm going to meet you guys there and then show you how to end your row. So once here, I am going to skip the next stitch and work a slip stitch in this stitch. So I have my two shells complete and to work my next shell, <coughs> this is what I'll do. I will work nine slip stitches, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and finally nine. Now here I'm going to chain three. It's not different from what we have worked. I'm just repeating this for you guys to master this stitch pattern. So uh, chain three into this next chain gap there. You work a slip stitch, all right? Now here we are going to work two slip stitches into the next two patterns, two, two stitches, sorry. Turn your work, skip these two stitches and into this chain three space you work 10 double crochets. So there you go. And here this was where we had our last stitch. So we skip this and into this we work a slip stitch. Now work two slip stitches into the next two stitches. And then we shall turn our work. These two slip stitches uh, stand for the next, like more like uh, the next double crochet post. So um, into this very first stitch right there, we work a double crochet, chain one, work a double crochet in the next stitch chain one, work a double crochet into the next stitch and do this until you have 10 double crochets. So once you have 10 double crochets, you are, see, this is where we had our last stitch. So you're skipping this and into this. You work a slip stitch and then work two slip stitches into the next two stitches, just like that. And you will turn your work yarn over into this very first double crochet stitch, you work a double crochet and then two double crochets into the next uh, into the chain gap one double crochet in the next double crochet stitch two double crochets into the chain gap and there you are going to do this all the way until you are here that's where i'm going to meet you and then show you what to do so once here this is where we had our last stitch so we we'll skip this and into this we we'll work a slip stitch as you can see we have two stitches left because this is where we have our last stitch for this previous shell so we have one two and here we shall work two slip stitches into the next two stitches that is to work the final row of our shell see that turn our work into the first double crochet stitch right there we work a double crochet chain two skip one and work a double crochet in the next chain two skip one work a double crochet into the next chain two skip one dc into the next and this you are going to do until you have 13 chain gaps and there i will meet you there and show you uh, sorry i'm not going to show you <laughs> there you are going to work the next shells on your own Yeah, from here you're going to work the next shells on your own until you have all the shells you require.
for the stitches you started with so I will meet you on the next set of shells yeah that's why I'll get back and show you what to do so I've come to the end of my row I have six shells as you can see and you see that my stitches were accurate enough so that's why I got the whole design correct okay and I hope you all got the design correct so uh, from here I am um, going to cut my yarn and I will attach my other color so once you have your uh, next yarn attached you are going to now work uh, going this side okay so from here you will work a slip stitch and we shall work a slip stitch in there so once we get here because now we have worked into this double crochet so here we shall chain one and then work a slip stitch into the middle of the first chain gap of this shell okay and here we shall chain three and turn our work get over to the opposite side of this shell into the first chain gap you work a slip stitch see that now from here we are going to chain three one two three please make sure you're not chaining tightly so we are since it is this stitch right here this and then two of these and then this okay so um actually we should chain four so here we shall work a slip stitch into this double crochet stitch that ends the second chain gap right there and then turn our work yarn over into this chain three space we worked here right there we shall work a double crochet and work 10 double crochets in total and there we have 10 double crochets now we shall cross over to this double crochet right here on the opposite shell and then work a slip stitch you see that so now here we shall chain four one two three four and we are going to skip this chain gap into the center of the next chain gap we work a slip stitch turn our work yarn over into the very first double crochet right here you work a double crochet make sure you're not working them tightly so it doesn't drag our work together and here you chain one work one double crochet into the next stitch chain one work a double crochet in the next and do this until you have all 10 double crochets once you have your 10 double crochets you will skip this double this chain gap and in the center of the next chain gap right there you work your slip stitch so this is what we have okay and now here we chain four and um, we get to this double crochet that ends this next chain gap right there and work a slip stitch so we turn our work yarn over into this very first double crochet stitch we work a double crochet and then work two double crochets into the chain gap work one double crochet into the double crochet stitch two double crochets into the next chain gap and you are going to do this for all the stitches until you come to the end of your row of this shell sorry so once at the end of your row you are going to uh, get to this double crochet here and then work a slip stitch this is what we have now here we shall chain four one two three four and skip this chain gap into this the center of the next chain gap you work a slip stitch then turn your work yarn over work one double crochet into the very first double crochet right there and then chain two skip one work a double crochet in the next stitch chain two 
skip one work a double crochet into the next stitch chain to skip one and you are going to do this all the way until you come to the end of your um what's it called your shell all right so right here you will skip this uh, chain gap and in the center of the next chain gap you work a slip stitch see that now uh, for the next shell you are and now you are going to chain one work a slip stitch into this double crochet okay and then you will chain three and work a slip stitch into the next double crochet so we are now literally we are now trying to go all the way down okay so that's what we are trying to do chain three into the next double crochet stitch you work a slip stitch chain three work a slip stitch in the next so we have one left we chain three work a slip stitch into this double crochet as you can see we have gone down and now we chain one and work a slip stitch into the center of the very first double crochet uh, sorry chain gap and here we shall chain three and cross over to the next chain gap the first chain gap right here into the center of it you work a slip stitch and here you will chain four work a slip stitch into this double crochet stitch and now here you will turn your work repeat the entire process working 10 double crochets so um uh it is right here that we are going to skip this and work into the slip stitch that is above this double crochet stitch Just like that so now here we chain four one two three four and we are going to work into the middle of this because it reflects it, it will make it will make it look like we have worked into the middle of this chain gap okay but here the, the stitches will be bulky so that's why I'm going to work into this just like that my 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 whole uh, essence is uh, my um, the whole instance of doing this is to uh, be skipping a chain gap and a half. Okay, that's why if I work in the center of this chain gap, I'm going to work it here. So it is the half of this, and then this chain gap. Then next I will skip this and then work in the center of this. So it is the full of this and then the half of this. So literally we just have to have um, a chain gap and a half skipped for the next row to get started of the shell. Okay. So uh, here I will turn my work and then uh, into the very first stitch. Please don't confuse this with this. Look, uh, spread your work and see where your first stitch is. And there you will insert your hook. Work a double crochet, chain one. Work a double crochet into the next stitch. And this you are going to do into every stitch until you have 10 double crochets for this row of the shell. So once you have all 10 double crochets here, remember we was here, so that means we are working a slip stitch in the middle of this. Skipping this and working a slip stitch in the center of this. So here we chain four and into this double crochet, we work a slip stitch, then turn our work into the very first uh, double crochet right there. We work a double crochet and then work two double crochets into the chain one space work a double crochet right here and then work two double crochets into the space work a double crochet right here and this you are going to do until you get to the end of your row so I'm going to meet you on the final row of our second shell. I'm literally not going to work the entire skirt with you guys because now you have the knowledge. It's just a matter of 
going up the shelves and going down, going up, going down, going up, going down. So with this, I think I don't think I have to even meet you on the next set of um, set of what of shelves because now the knowledge you have acquired for this row is exactly what you have to apply for the next rows and at least i have gone super super slow so that you guys can pick every step clearly so that i do not end up with a lengthy lengthy video and that is what i was trying to you know avoid i am avoiding lengthy videos because most of us don't have that concentration level of watching a video of one hour until the end so that's what i'm i'm trying to avoid now uh here we are working into the uh, the stitch right above this okay is it no 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 right above this double crochet here so in there we work we insert our hook and work a slip stitch and now here we chain four into this stitch, the slip stitch that, that is next to the last stitch of this shell, right there. That's where we work a slip stitch, then turn our work into the first double crochet stitch, which is this one. We work a double crochet and then chain two, skip one. Work a double crochet, chain two, skip one, work a double crochet. And this you do repeatedly until you have 13 chain gaps. So right here, we shall skip this uh, chain gap and in the center of this there, we work our slip stitch. Okay. You see how flattened it is and it looks really super, super cool, okay? So guys, I'm not going to show you how to go with go ahead with the other stitches. I've already showed you. From here, you will just go all the way down this shell and then start uh, exactly what we have done for this shell and do that for all the other shells. Like literally, this this is exactly what you are going to do entirely throughout your skirt. So once you get to the end of this set of shells, you will just cut your yarn, attach yarn. Follow this very same procedure for the next row and the next row and the next row until you have the length of the skirt that you desire. I'm just going to get back and show you how um, to work to to work up your waistline, okay? And then how to draw um, your skirt together. Uh, also, I had told you guys to work uh, rows of stitches that can pass through your hips. Please just make sure you are not working to your hip length. Just make sure once it is stretched, it can meet your hips so that we have that sort of like fitting once you put it on because, because this skirt looks much more beautiful if it is like fitted onto you so if you feel like uh, you have really made something super huge you can just um, maybe try to redo your work and cut down the number of shells that you have on the very first row because that is what is going to give the whole entire skirt the beauty that we desire for it okay make sure that you're working shells that st when stretched they meet your hip width okay when stretched and this time i'm going to be sharing how i work my tassels because most of you keep asking me how do you add tassels to your waistband or uh, sorry um drawstring and today i'm going to be sharing that with you guys because i just need us to have that complete uh you know the whole complete tutorial so that you're not asking any questions about anything I've anything extra I've added to the skirt all right so let me meet you guys there and then show you what to do so now guys uh to work my way um waistline this is what i am going to do i'm just going to find uh, a point at the end like here on the sides and that's where i'm going to insert my hook and pull through my yarn just like this chain two work a double crochet in here and then work one double crochet into the next stitch 
and just look out for the next stitch as well yeah just like this you work one double crochet into every stitch all the way around and make sure you have the same number of stitches that you had when starting this entire project okay so I'm going to let you guys work your one row of just double crochets into every stitch and I'm going to meet you at the end of the row and then show you what to do so once you are done and you have come to the end of your row here you are going to work a slip stitch into uh, the chain stitches that started the row and then you chain two and turn your work and into this very first uh, stitch you work a double crochet and continue working one double crochet into every stitch all the way around just like we did and you will do this for the next row as well okay so literally we are going to have three rows of just double crochet okay so I'm going to meet you after the third row and then I'll show you what to do so guys I'm sorry I had to just work only two rows because I have remembered I worked this for someone a little small and I feel like it's going to get lengthy given the fact that I worked eight rows of shells so it's just you measuring how long you want your skirt to be and and working the rows that you desire for uh, the length you would love your client to to wear so here on this row once you are done with uh, your rows it's okay if you work three rows it's very okay we can just move on from there so uh, here you'll work a double crochet into the stitch and there you'll work a double crochet in the next so we chain two skip two work um, I think we should just chain one and skip one then work two double crochets into the next two stitches chain one skip one work two double crochets in the next two stitches this is where our dress string is going to pass chain one skip one work two double crochets into the next two stitches chain one skip one work two double crochets in the next two stitches and here you will do this all the way around for all the stitches and I'm going to get back to show you how to work the next row once you are done with your row and this is it we are now going to get our hook and insert our 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 hook into the loop the last loop after we worked a slip stitch here we shall chain two into this very first stitch you work two uh three double crochets just like that and then you are going to work a single crochet into this chain one space and then chain two work three double crochets into the chain one space and here you will skip these two stitches and work a single crochet into the chain one space okay so we are working a c to c stitch do the very same thing chain two work three double crochets and then skip these two stitches into the chain one space you work a single crochet see what we have once again you chain two work three double crochets into the chain one space skip two stitches into the next chain one space you work a single crochet so you are going to do this all the way around for all these stitches and i'm going to just get back and show you how to add your drawstring to this okay so we are now going to add our string our dress string so we just look out for the front which we want to be our front right there we get into it from the front and in the back and just uh, keep doing this all the way for all the gaps you go in and come out you can use um, a dining needle to do this if you want I'm just so pragmatic that's why I always just go handy so yeah just do this all the way around and I'm going to get back and show you how to add tassels at the end of your strings so to make your tassel like this 
you are going to get at the end of your drawstring and just be like you're taking out one loop just like that so you will get your um, yarn that you have prepared for your tassel and cut it to desired length knowing that when folded it still gives you that the, the length that you must have so it should while like this it should be twice the length you, you want so that when we fold it like this it makes um, the real length for the tassel you need so I'm just going to take out two of these just like this and um, I'm going to get into the loop and just use my two my my thumb and index finger okay and then get my bundle of yarn onto my in between my index finger and thumb and I'm going to hold this end so it doesn't pull out the end of the loop okay so it doesn't pull out and I'll pull out one end of this Please don't pull out the whole entire thing, just pull out one end. Uh, look out for the end of the loop right there and um, make sure this is balanced. So you will pull this to tighten it. So meaning we have pulled our loop together and we shall lay it down just like that then get this that we took off and now tie it um, almost at the peak almost at the peak knowing that you leave some room for that more like pom 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 and um, right there you will start to tie around and make sure you're doing this tight also get this end and now we shall make a knot Tighten, make a knot once again just so it is tight enough and secure. So we shall cut these ends off and still cut the ends so that we have um, a very uniform end. I'll take this away I'm just going to cut this a little more so that it's not too long so there you have it I will just get to tie my waist just like that and my tassels will be popping see that so we have come to the end of this project and I'm just going to be uh, weaving in my ends and making sure it's completely done I want to thank you all for watching please make sure you, su uh, you subscribe like my videos so that we get the numbers we deserve because most of you keep telling me you have very awesome videos but the numbers are still so down yes thank you so much but it will be much more helpful if you share my work and share my projects with anyone that you believe needs to see this uh, also you can join my instagram please please follow me on instagram nita crochets and also join my facebook group nita crochets community i'll be so glad to see you around thank you so much for watching once again goodbye